Hello everyone and welcome back to the channel. In today's video I'm going to focus on workspace overview and how you can customize your layout. So let's get started. Let's head down to the dock. Let's click on Premiere Pro. You'll do this fun little welcome page for a second. Once it's done here it'll bring us to the welcome menu. Here we are. So this is the welcome menu. You see this every single time you open up the program. It'll have all the different projects you're working on listed down here. And like I said before, you can have one, two, three, four, five, as many as you want, and they'll be listed just down here. So we're gonna click on our starting out project, the one that we started last video. And this is just an empty default layout when you open up for the first time. And like I said before, every time you activate one of the panels, it'll turn blue. Always pay attention to that because sometimes it's easy to not have it clicked and certain features won't be available in that panel. That being said, I want to move on to customizing your layout. So if you decide you want a certain panel larger, smaller, up or down, you just come here in the middle on the line. You'll see the mouse will go from the point to this kind of uh, sidebar that has a left and a right. You just click on it. You can drag it whichever direction you like. Do the same thing on the bottom. You can drag them up and down. You can move them any direction you like, whatever suits your fancy you can do. That being said, if you want to go back to the default layout, just head up here to the very, very top tab that says Window. Click on down to Workspaces, and then almost all the way down it says Reset to Saved Layout. And that'll just take you back to the default layout. I suggest staying there, especially as you're learning, because when you watch uh, more tutorials, even different tutorials, most likely they're going to have the same layout, so you can identify with it easier. Um, that being said, I also want to point out that each panel has its own set of tabs which you notice here so within the panel there's own little tabs that'll change different information uh, different options different features within that panel same same with the source panel it's got little tabs they all have their own version of that and like I said whichever one is highlighted blue that's the tab that's activated one more thing before we go I want to point out once you're kind of down the line in your in your edit, your movie making, your video, whatever project you're doing, and you get to a different stage when you go to like color correction or if you want to work on the audio, if you want to work on titles and graphics, effects, up here in the middle on the top, there's its own set of tabs. And these are all preset layouts for those different categories. So for example, when you're importing stuff into the project panel, and you have a lot of items, you can come up here to where it says assembly because you're assembling them together, click on it, and it changes the layout. So it makes this window much larger, this panel much larger. And so when you're importing tons of footage, videos, music, you have space to organize it. And then when you want to get started with the actual editing itself, go to this next tab, editing. It goes back to the default one we saw. This for the most part is the best layout for editing. But then when you want to start color correcting or color grading, the tab next to it, color it just organized the layout to benefit that specific task you have at hand right there if you want to do effects it'll redo that when you switch to work on the audio it switches to the layout best for audio graphics and so on once again the one used the most is the traditional editing tab this is the basic layout used the most so in this video we've covered how to customize your layout how to reset it back to default and we've kind of touched on the different tabs within each panel and that's it for this video for the workspace overview and how to customize your layouts. And in the next video, we're going to focus on importing media into our project. Thanks for watching. We'll see you next time.